Okay, um, this unboxing is again a bunch of books that arrived in the past uh, couple weeks. Um, and these are two books um, that talk about um, cancer. So Mr. C is um, a cancer cell. And so these are like um, early chapter books that, um, you know, are really informational. Um, I would think, you know, helpful, helpful for kids to learn more about cancer, especially um, if they have someone they love who is battling it. So I'll definitely add this. I have a cancer list. Need to add that. Um, this picture book is The Boy Who Loved Everyone by Jane Porter, illustrated by Maisie Paradise Shearing. Um, and I think it's just like, I think it's just about uh, a Dimitri, who is small but just like a very loving person and um he's he says he says that he loves people and he just she spreads love but not everybody um sort of can verbalize it back and so you know i think um it's like a very sweet story i guess of someone who's not afraid to um show affection or be affectionate and so, so when Dimitri said, I love you, sometimes he gets, you know, doesn't get the same reaction back, which makes him sad, but not everyone knows how to react. And um, it's just about, um, I don't know, nurturing like this lovingness, loving kindness of this child. And, and hopefully it shows how much his message spread. I think that's the point of the story. So always a good reminder that love is a powerful message. Um, See the Cat? Wait a minute. Three Dogs About a Dog by David Law Rochelle, illustrated by Mike Wonutka. And so I think this is like an easy reader. It reminds me of those, you know, old timey ones that I grew up reading. Um, you know, by Arnold LaBelle and, um, I don't know, just like the whole illustration style just like struck me as from my past and was appealing. And it looks like it's short stories that are cute and funny. And, um, yeah, it's surprisingly hard to find really great, um, easy readers because just, you know, you're very limited. The types of words and the number of words to tell a really um, fun story. So that, that looks great. Um, Over the Shop is the next book by John Arno Lawson and illustrated by Keen Ling. And um, is this, oh, this is a, um, I think a wordless picture book. So there's an apartment for rent above the local general store and a little girl and her grandparent, they need to fill the apartment. Um, so it looks like it's a wordless story about a rundown apartment and when a special couple shows up and bring some kind of element, I don't know if it's creativity or love or, you know, just like imagination and elbow grease, uh, this room turns into something really special. So it's, so it's just this room over the shop and it's this wordless picture book. So here is the little girl. It almost reminds me of the gardener, you know, where, um, you know, like during the great depression and they just use, like in that case, they use, uh, you know, seeds and flowers and plants to turn a space into something amazing. But here it could be also just be, you know, paint. I don't know. I don't know. But here we see the space and it's not great. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, depressing. It's like, it, it's broken and it's ugly and it's dirty and nobody wants to rent it. You know, here we see everyone. Um, so finally, here's the special couple. 
Yeah, it looks like they're um, like a mixed race, you know, uh, different races, which also I find interesting. Um, and it's here. Here's the department of the store, and so now they're going to do something to make this place special. And let's just see. What is it? Like I'm so curious. I don't know. It's what's happening. There's actually this um, YouTube YouTuber I'm watching, and um, she, I think she's Japanese, but she lives in a different country. It's not Japan, and so I just read the subtitles. But she lives in this really small apartment. It's not even. She doesn't even know it's an apartment, and she's an incredible like. She's incredible at creativity and renovation and like with just like and she does everything herself like with tools and wood and you know her imagination and she transforms this whole apartment you know room by room from okay it was okay it wasn't horrible but into something spectacular on, on the tiniest budget I mean, it's like incredible um and it, I think the YouTube channel is like it's the references this the square footage it's something like you know like 18 by 56 or something and so it's like it's reminded me of this because they're they're taking something that isn't attractive and um, making it you know beautiful and it's like a beauty that it's hard to see you know like when the space is so ugly that it takes a special creative talent to um, to see what it could become and, and to do it so I'll link in the in the video of that youtuber if anyone's interested in um, watching an, a real life person do it um, and she does and the thing is in the youtuber she does it all by herself like she has a husband and a child but the husband's like at work and like she literally is doing it all herself um in this tiny space with like no yard it, it's incredible um okay so I'll do two more quickly so this is from epic unicorn island unicorn island by donna galanti illustrated by bethany stan stancliff and um I think this is yeah this is a chapter book um, by Andrews McNeil Publishing. Normally they send me um, graphic novels, so I haven't had too many um, like middle grade just straight up chapter uh, middle grade chapter books. Um, and this one has a lot of illustrations. And what is it? There's a magical secret, in foggy harbor. Um, but, um, and Sam, Sam, is it a girl or a boy? If Sam could be a girl. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's a girl because it's her uncle Mitch. But, like, underneath a trap door, there's strange artifacts and a big secret. And it looks like the secret is magical animals, um, unicorns, so it's sort of people who, like, um, you know, like that whole court, sort of a unicorn fairy, that type of magical realism. That sounds like a good book for them. That sounds like a good map to it. And the last one for now is Nikki and Vera, A Quiet Hero of the Holocaust and the Children He Rescued by Peter Sis. You know, I haven't seen, so like that would pair well with this um, House on the Lake. These are two Holocaust stories, but like very different. I haven't, like Peter Siss is like one of my favorite author illustrators. I haven't, see, like, I feel like I haven't seen a book by him lately. So this, maybe he's been working on this for years. Um, and so this is an Englishman who goes to help refugees um, in Prague. And, oh my goodness. He literally raises money, finds foster families, arranges visas and travel, does whatever it takes to save these people, just like a single person, um, saving what sounds like hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands actually. I, I don't know how many people he actually saves, but it's just, you know, and I, I kind of feel like, um, you know, like, like when like when, like in our political circumstances where things are bad, it's these kind of stories that make you realize that um, 
while it may seem like a single person can't make a difference, you know, it, like these kinds of stories um, prove that a single person can make a huge difference, you know. I just love his illustrations. They're they're kind of like, they're like map-like, but um, but like friendly, you know. And so this is the story of what he did. And um, it's pretty long. I think it's long. is it longer than thirty two thirty two pages? I don't I don't know. And is there an author's note? Yeah, a pretty extensive one um, to learn more about this person. Yeah, and it's pretty, you know, three pages. And so, I don't know um, how, you know, how, how he found this story. But, um, it looks pretty incredible. So, I look forward to reading this one as well.